Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have a market breakdown for you guys. So the video that you saw right before this one is my day of the market vlog plus a little bit of prep that I did for that market. So I recommend checking that out first if you haven't already seen it and if you want to see how my booth was set up and all of the market things you can check out that video today's video is going to be the breakdown which is me sharing all of the items i'm bringing to this market i'm sharing that right now before the market as i'm filming this and then once the market is over i will share with you what sold best sellers how much i made all of that stuff and just so you guys know this is a market that i'm bringing a lot of my fall and halloween items to because it's happening on October 21st, but I do believe by the time you're seeing this video, Halloween is already passed, so don't mind that you're seeing fall and Halloween in this video as well. And now two things I always like to tell you guys is first off, I will have a Google Doc linked below for you guys that has all the crochet patterns for every single one of these items in the order that I'm talking about all of them, just so it's super easy for you to find each and every item if you want to make these items yourself. And the second thing is I will always accept any sort of questions you have on pricing, but just because I'm giving you the prices I charge does not mean I'm asking you whether you think it's right or wrong. I'm very comfortable with my prices, so you saying it's right or wrong isn't going to make anything different. So anyways, with that though, let's go ahead and get started on the items I'm bringing to this market. First we have axolotls, which I'm charging $14.00 four and I have three of them. Next we have baby turtles which I also have three of and these are 12 each. Next we have bees which I charge $15 each for. So we have two rainbow bees and I have six regular bees. Next we have blueberries which I have one with an angry face and two with happy faces and these are for $10 each. Next I have chicken nuggets which are $8 each and I have five of them. Three with happy faces and two with straight faces. I normally have angry but I'm completely out of the angry face ones. Next we have chickens which are $12 each. I have three in this color, then two in white and one in this black speckled so I have six total. And next we have chicks, which I have four of, and these are $12 each. So here is all four. Next I have chunky mushrooms, which are 15 each. And I have eight of them in all various different colors. For aliens, I have four of them, and they are $12 each. Ducks are 14 each, and I have three of them. Eggs are 10 each, and I have four of them. My frogs are priced at $12 each. So I have three green leggy frogs, one green chubby frog, two mango, two purple, two mint, and three different pinks. For the frogs, next for gummy bears, I have four of them, and I charge $10 each for these. For hippos, I have three of them and they are 14 each. For my mini bears, I have three of them and they are 12. I have two mini fish that are eight. And then I have three different patterns that go in my minis bin and my minis bin is a $5 minis bin. So I have three octos to go in that, two whales and five bees. Next I have four regular octopus for 10 each. My opossums are 12 and I have seven of them. For otters, they're also 12 and I have three of them. For penguins, they are 14 and I have four of them. For pickles, they're 12 each and I have seven of them. Just dropped one, but it is seven. For triceratops, I have five of them and they are 12 each. And finally for my items that I have like lots of that will go in their own bins or displays, I have whales, which I have five of them and they're 10 each. So with all of that, I'm going to organize that bag and then I'm going to show you the rest of my items, which are all ones that have individual price tags. Okay, so I did lie about 
all the rest of my items having individual price tags because I forgot that this next bag is a combination of ones with individual price tags and ones that go in bins. It's all my fall and Halloween ones in general. So I'm going to show you the ones that go in bins that don't have price tags first and then we'll move on to everything with price tags. So for mini candy corns, I'm charging $8 for these and I have four of them. For mini pumpkins, I'm charging five for each one and I have one in blue, two in purple, and two in pink. For my mini ghost, I have six of them and they are $10 each. I also have mini glow in the dark ghost that are $14 each. I have two of these. Okay, my pumpkins that are like this are $17 each and I have 14 of them. And now that is all for items that don't have individual price tags. Next we have candy corn bees that are 15 each. Next we have ghost swings which are 20 each and I have 5 of them. I have 2 zombies for 17 and 1 small zombie for 15. I have my witch cat for 35. I have 3 spiders, 1 in purple, 1 in gray, 1 in black. Each of them are 35. I have two bats for 20 each. I have my Squishmallow inspired patterns. So this is the bat one for 35. This is the witch one for 45. This is the spider one for 35. This is the Frankenstein one for 35. The vampire one for 45. And then two of the candy corns for 35 each. Next I have a pumpkin that's just bigger than the other ones. And this one is 22. I have my ghost dressed in a shark costume for 30 And final item I have here for Halloween and for that bag in general is my $30 trick-or-treating ghost. I have one of these. So now we're going to move on to my regular items that I am bringing to this market that aren't Halloween. I have some bags. I have three of these kid purses for 20 each. I have two bitty boho bags also for 20 each. I have my mushroom bag for 32. This watermelon purse for 40. And I believe that's all for the bags. Next I have my lobster for 62. Bob the minion for 65 which is my most expensive item. I have a $50 Triceratops, $45 bee, $30 corn, $25 chicken leg with ketchup, $35 unicorn, $32 sunflower turtle, $38 hamburger turtle, $10 chili pepper, $32 snake, $38 wolf, $35 giraffe, $35 cookies and cream cow, $15 snail, $15 peach, $43 cow with a purse, $12 mini pig, $20 heart friend, $25 clownfish and flounder, $30 teddy bear, $30 turtle, $32 hamster, $20 s'mores, $53 butterfly, $15 squid, $15 mini bunny, three $15 mini dogs, $20 ice cream, $30 classic cow, $20 pizza slice, $22 jellyfish, $20 coffee mug, and $20 Hershey's kiss. So that is everything. And I will see you guys here soon for the breakdown for how the event goes once it's over, of course. All right, you guys, so I'm back for the rest of the breakdown, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you the transactions of what sold in the order that everything sold so that you get an idea of what people were buying first, and then we'll get into, of course, best sellers and how much I made total. So this market was 9 to 1, and the first order was at 9.18, and this was for my one black spider, which was $35, and then one of my candy corn bees, which was $15. Next order was another spider, this time the purple one, also for $35. And 
Next was one baby turtle for $12, a purple one. Next was one of my sunflower keychains, which are $8. Next order was two items. It was the dark blue chunky mushroom, as well as one of my chicks. The chick is 12 and the mushroom is 15. Next order was three items being my jellyfish for 22, one straight face pickle for 12, and one happy face chicken nugget for eight. I was very happy to sell that jellyfish because I had had it for quite a while. Next order was two items together, both Halloween items, my trick-or-treating ghost for 30, and the vampire inspired by the Squishmallow for 45. That was my only one of my items that I sold that was the Squishmallow inspired ones. So I was happy that that one went. That one was my favorite though, so a little sad, but happy still, of course. Next order was one of my $17 zombies. Next was an $8 chicken nugget. And that was a straight face chicken nugget. Next, I just had somebody buy $1 worth of stickers, which my stickers are kind of just an add-on thing typically, but I do have people that go ahead and buy just stickers sometimes, so that was the case this time, and the stickers are just three for $1, and the stickers aren't anything I make or anything. I just buy them and resell them. But anyways, next was another chick for $12. Next was a B for 15 Next was an order with two items, one straight face egg for 10 and one angry pickle for 12. Next we had an order for two items, one black speckled chicken, which is the color typewriter in Burnett Blanket Speckled, and that is for $12, and then a mini candy corn for eight. Next we had another chicken sell, this time the white speckled one, so that is the color Ivory Tweed in Burnett Blanket. Next order was another two item one, one pink leggy frog for $12 and one mini candy corn for eight. Next was one of my mini bunnies for $15. Next order was a $10 octopus and it was the blue greeny one that sold. Next was another $12 item, this time a baby turtle in dark green. Next was an egg which was $10 and that was an angry one. Next I had a squid sell for 15. Then just one mini candy corn for eight. Next order had a few items. So we had two mini octos, which are each $5. Then one otter for 12 and one mini bear, specifically the panda one also for 12. Next order was two items. One white speckled chicken again for 12 and one angry pickle also again for 12. Next order was another one with a few items. So we had one mini bee and one mini octo both for five. One opossum for 12 and one chicken in white for 12. Next order was another chunky mushroom for 15, this time the light purple one. Next was a gray hippo for 14. Next was a chick for 12. After that was two $12 items together, one possum and one chick. Next was a $10 bee keychain. Next was a $12 purple leggy frog. Next was my purple mini fish for eight. Next order was two items, the $32 snake and the $14 pink penguin. Next order was a $35 unicorn and a dark green $12 Triceratops. Next order was a $10 Octopus. This was the pink, white, and purple one. So that's the color Pretty Girl in Burnett Blanket. Next order was a mini pumpkin for $5, and this was the blue one, or one of the blue ones. I think I had two. Next order was another $17 Zombie. Next order was one mystery bag. This was the $23 one, which I'm doing my mystery bags a little bit differently. I did explain it in some of my previous vlogs if you guys don't know, but basically I just have them in various different prices now based off of what's in the bag. So anyways, a $23 one sold and then a pink pumpkin also sold with that for $5. A mini pumpkin, I should say. 
Next order was one dollar worth of stickers, one mini candy corn for eight, and one light green baby turtle for 12. Next was another $12 order for a leggy frog, this time a pink one. Then we had a $12 order for a chick. Then a $12 order for a chicken, this time a white one. And my final order for this market was at 106 and the market ended at 1 so I actually ran a little over with some people looking at my stuff and everything. So that was a $14 light purple axolotl and then $1 worth of stickers. So that is everything for what sold. Now let's get into some best sellers. So my top best seller was definitely chickens. I sold six chickens, which I believe six is what I had total. I apologize that I can't really tell you what sold out. I normally film a breakdown like this right after a market and I thought I had done that and turns out I didn't so I'm currently filming this the day before you're seeing it. So I'm going back through Square but it doesn't say my stuff is sold out anymore because I've had a market since then and my inventory is based off of what sold at that market and not at the previous one anymore. But anyways, I do think I remember selling out of chickens at that market, so I did sell six of those. And that was the item that I sold the most of out of like any singular item was six chickens. And again, those chickens are $12 each. The next most was chicks. I sold four of those and I only had four of them. And that was also $12 each. I did also sell four mini candy corns and those were eight each so that was another pretty good seller and then other items I sold three baby turtles I believe I only had three of those as well and those were also 12 each I also sold three frogs again for 12 each and then three pickles as well again for 12 each so that is kind of a good recap of what some pretty good sellers were and yeah this was a pretty good market this is the market that i typically do each month and what i made is about what i typically make at this market each time so i did sign up for this market to be a seasonal vendor so it's eight events one per month and it breaks down to be $55 per event is what I ended up paying so $55 vendor fee and I made $870 at this event with 44 sales so I feel like that is pretty good and then as far as cash versus card breakdown and total collected and everything I did collect nine hundred thirty five dollars and twenty three cents but that includes taxes and then of course fees as well seven hundred forty dollars and sixty five cents of that was as card payments and then one hundred ninety four dollars and fifty eight cents of that was the cash payments i do find at this market specifically I have a lot more people that pay with card versus at other markets. I feel like it's more 50-50 split, but as you can see, $700 card versus almost $200 cash is a big split. So yeah, for some reason this market, people tend to pay card more, which is fine. It's honestly easier than having to give people change anyway, but just thought that's something interesting to note. But yeah, that is pretty much it for my breakdown for you guys for this video. I apologize. Like I said, I can't really tell you what completely sold out. But if I'm remembering correct, the chickens sold out, the chicks sold out, as well as the baby turtles sold out. I'm pretty sure at least those ones did. And those are typically pretty good sellers for me. So that does make sense. Anyways, you guys, that is all for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up 
and let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's video and of course if you want to see more breakdowns like this I always love sharing this with you guys so I hope you still enjoy watching them and I hope you still find them helpful for what sells well for me and hopefully it's helpful for what to make for your own markets and everything. Now if you guys did enjoy today's video and you want to make sure you don't miss out on videos like this one in the future as well as all of my other videos make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video and if you guys do want to see more from me of course you can check out more videos of mine my blog my Etsy shop my Ribbler shop all of my social media is my second channel all of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys as well as for today of course you can check out more videos of mine my blog my Etsy shop my Ribbler shop all of my social media is my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today, of course, you can check out the Google Doc linked below where I have all the crochet patterns for every single item in today's video. All in the order that I was talking about them. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye.